Good morning, folks. We are darn close to a blank solar disk. There are a couple tiny sunspots, none worth analyzing. However, when we come to spaceweathernews.com, we see that another M flare was detected, the longest duration of this latest uptick. It came from the departing sunspot group down south, a nice little shot to say goodbye. As you watch its umbral fields depart, you see more of them incoming. Those are merely plaguing within and around a mesospot area, however. Plasma filaments are the current top eruption threat on our star. A northern one destabilized last night in a surface feature, but otherwise, we're closely monitoring the calm. Solar wind shows that we are at the end of a coronal hole stream. Even the higher sustained speed can't keep up the magnetic disruptions when the density falls out like that. But folks, something interesting. We are seeing a vastly more enhanced version of the post-storm magnetic pulsations pattern. During disruption, you see all kinds of stuff here, but afterwards, you often see this perfectly timed tick, tick, tick of a recurring pulsation. Here's the deal. As I scroll back through the magnetic storm that destroyed this past week's quake watch, know that these types of pulsations are not something new. We can actually notice these patterns often in the wake of geomagnetic activity, but never that strong. It was an extraordinarily long storm event, so perhaps that's a factor. Folks, this was the scene in Dominica. Erica left destruction in her wake as she trekked through the Caribbean, destroying homes and infrastructure, killing several with many that are injured or still missing, but a spot of good news. After pounding the islands, we are seeing just a remnant storm of Erica. It's not organized or named anymore, but it still does bring a flood threat to Florida today. Three storms remain in the Pacific, with Ignacio in the center with a chance to affect Hawaii just a bit. And folks, the Weather Channel put out the temperature predictions for next month. These actually began with the jet stream shift yesterday afternoon. You will see. Featured members content today is yesterday's episode of Fly on the Wall. It was just Billy, Xavier, and me, but we rolled out 70 solid minutes of discussion. And guys, I'll also try to get you another deeper look before the planetary geometry analysis in early September. And of course, we're only about 50 days from observing the frontier. October 17th and 18th in Pittsburgh, we'll probe the crest of the wave and then do so again in January in Phoenix. For Phoenix, the pre-registration period ends tomorrow. Links to the Pittsburgh and Phoenix events can be found on this page and at suspiciousobservers.org. Florida takes the U.S.'s top alerts today for flooding off Erica's remnants. I've got your precipitable water across the globe, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.